Now, Roshini, you look fantabalicious. You know there's not a word, right? I know, right? <laughs> well, that's where the education part coming, right? <laughs> yeah. Now, let's deal, with, let's deal with the fact that many people say that bright, pretty girls are bright. I think it's a stereotype, especially you were saying models, uh, they say that models aren't bright. Because to come out there and to have the confidence and to even to make the decision is a smart choice alone. Mm. Because you have to deal with public and what they will say and what they will talk and we all know this will happen. But you have to be confident with yourself and you coming out there are already to put forward yourself and knowing what you, are, what you want and what you're about is already a smart choice I would say. So intelligence is there whether you put it in or not. <laughs> Where do you put it here or not? No? Yes. So now, when you want to make a point, just put click it. it out on them. Put it on them. Okay. Um, now, um, as we're dealing with women generally, what are your thoughts on domestic violence? That's the major issue in Guyana. Domestic violence. Well, of course, no, nobody goes for it, right? And we know it's not only women that are abused. Men are also abused, and then it's for children. Mm -hmm. So you, but, you know any mama ever get it? <laughs> well, we're, we're, we're Anisha. She, 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 that's her platform, but she was saying that... Um, you know, men don't like to come out because they feel offended or they feel ashamed or something. Which, which guy can go to the police station and say, my wife beat me. <laughs> right? So, you know, it's a, it's a bit of controversy with, with that. Yeah. But we have Prey Manic Chan. She's been working with it, with women and with men and with children. Mm -hmm. We try to bring it out as much as awareness as possible because that's not much we could do as people who look on or if mm -hmm. we know somebody who's involved, the most we could do is, you know, advise them, go take them to counseling because a lot of times they're afraid to go because they're ashamed. But if I can hold your hand and say, I know your wife Beach, oh, I don't care you. <laughs> <laughs> or, the, or even the ladies all the way around yeah. and for children and stuff, you know. Okay. We can jump in this direction now. Um, honestly, what, 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 what is your thought about the fact that they say, ah, she pretty, but she got brick for brains? Well, I think you can't just look at somebody and judge them like that. Yes. We need to stop doing that. And that is not true. It takes a lot of courage to come this far in a pageant. And I know that there are a lot of young girls out there who want to do it. But they think about what people will think about them, but they need to stop thinking about that and as you say, say it all. So I think they need to stop thinking about what people have to say and do what they want to do with their life. I mean, for the best, not the worst. So that is not true. We, we know what we want and pretty girls are smart, of course. <laughs> That's why we are here. <laughs> no, 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 let's say uh, I have a child, a daughter who wants to get involved in pageantry. What you got to say to them? Say it to me because right now I'm thinking that it's just exposing your daughter, physical appearance and so on. What you got to say to them? I think what I will say to you is that you need to let your daughter do what she wants to do. If this is the decision that she wants to make, she should go ahead. You should let, yes, you should let her, you should support her to go to get to aim for the star. If this is what she wants, you need to be there for her to support her and give this to her. Okay, it's not as negative as, as people think. It's not. It's really not. We're here. We're we're here because we want to represent our country and that's a big thing. Mm -hmm. It's not easy being here. It's a it's a stiff competition. It takes a lot of courage, self confidence, self respect. So you need to lay this out on the table and you need to yes, it's not about that. Okay, we heard a whole mouthful there. What's your name again? Judith. I got a cough. Her name is Judith. Excuse me. Now what I'll do is, since we're around here, I'll come this way. And this is the young lady who's the reigning Miss Essie Kibble. So I'm Roman... No, no, no. You're not the reigning Miss Essie Kibble. You're what? I get a mix-up. What? I'm the girl who did Miss Face of Shabu 2010. Yeah, Miss Face of Shabu 2010. She got first one up. A Caribbean pageant, of course. Now, darling, they say that women ain't bright when they're beautiful and that parents should not allow their daughters to be strutting their stuff in swimsuits on catwalks. It is wrong. What do you got to say? Take an example of us girls and you will know if women are not, if they're beautiful and not intelligent because we all here are intelligent and that's why we're here. And you all could see that we are intelligent. And I would like to continue about what uh, the question that you asked her. Um, people, not, uh, parents not wanting their daughters to go uh, do pageantry. Well, I think pageantry for me personally, it's it's to explore the world because you get to go different places, you get to meet different people. It's an opportunity for you. It's a really good opportunity for you. Yeah. Okay. So therefore, you say parents, what do what should they do with their daughters if they want to model? allow them to because it's a very great opportunity they get to go different various country for example Roshni Budu she went Dubai for me instance I'm dying to go Dubai you know uh, uh. I've been dying to go Dubai 
so and I went I visited Barbados that was the first time for me to travel in a plane so that was a great experience for me you know yeah. so go ahead allow your daughter if that's what she wants to do just support her support her okay what's your name again Madonna Ghani Madonna Ghani moving over this way we've got another pretty lady and I can't help but notice that part of her that she's been blessed with <laughs> anyways um, what's your name again my name is Cynthia Singh Cynthia Singh now talk to us Beauty and brains, they say they don't go together. What do you got to say? Well, the first thing I have to say to you is boobs and brains. That's me. So, I would say, hmm, girls, to make this choice, for you to be strong-willed, for you to be brave, for you to be demanding of what you want and who you want to be, it's rather smart. It's, I think it's one of the smartest decisions because it opens, it, it opens your life so, for so many opportunities. For so, you, can, you can be you at your best. And then you have, it's like this light. So for parents, the thing that, oh, girls are planting up and down in their bathing suit isn't appropriate. I think if your daughter wants to do that and she is strong, to do that and to deal with the public then you should let her, let her do it because it's filled with opportunities okay now um they they say that um minus the makeup the girls are not necessarily beautiful is that true what what was your thought of what beauty is beauty for me is your personality okay. it's not so much of your physical appearance but it's it's who you are inside it's that kind loving warm person that can make make someone smile when they're having a bad day and who can sit and talk to someone help them analyze their problems and I think just just by a person being there for so, someone when they really need them is so beautiful so okay. right. any girl that might be thinking um, I don't have the self-confidence to be modeling what do you got to say to her I gotta say to her that you're missing out on a lifetime. The experience is wonderful and it's better if you can look yourself in the mirror and like what you see. You have to stand in front of the mirror and you go, this is me and I'm perfectly fine with who I am and I love me and, and I think that everyone else should and that gives you the confidence to stand up there and show people this is what I want to do and I'm hoping for your support okay thank you very much darling here we go we've got two down two two remaining to go now let's talk about first of all you are the Venezuelan girl who is born to Guyanese parents and you were part of Miss Escobo pageant you were a runner-up and so on what do you think about beauty what is beauty in your understanding of things well, first of all, what I would say, it's beautiful. It's not something that you will look at someone and see outside of them. It's the part beautiful of them is when you look inside to them and the type of person they are, especially when it comes to their personality. You know, uh, sometimes you could meet people and you could look at them and say, oh, she's so beautiful, she's gorgeous. But sometimes you don't see between that people and say, okay, this is it there are because in simple question if you look at somebody and you you need to have this conversation with them before you know what is it they think and who they are it brings out their personality and beautiful every woman are beautiful in their own way and makeup it just brings up a bit more what is it enhances what is there yes it brings out the, the feminine part of them because all women are beautiful they are perfect I think in this world, I can't really remember if God did make a girl that she is not beautiful. Once she's made by God, she's Every, beautiful. Everybody is unique and about pageantry. I will encourage all young girls to come out and show it because most of people think that models are not smart. And they are totally wrong because if we was not smart, we could have not been on that stage holding a head think how to walk, how to bring out our personality, how to 
carry ourselves and we character going, how to talk to the media, how to stand out there with your face up and say, well, okay, this is it I want and this is the person I'm showing you that I am and I encourage you to come and do the same. Come out of, out of that place that people say, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that, nothing is impossible. Everything comes from your mind. And I could tell you, if mother are not smart, we will not be smart in the catwalk, in the way we walk, in the way we move, turn, pose. And do all those things. It's very important. Uh -huh. Okay, now let's, let, first of all, let's let the people know that you were born in Venezuela and your first language is Spanish, not English. And as a result of that, if they hear anything, it's because you're Spanish. Como te amo? My name is Diana Hussein. My name is Diana Hussein. Okay, and um, Castellano is my idioma numero uno. Spanish is my first language, and I'm delighted to be here. Es un honor estar aquí representando Guyana. Okay, now tell us in Spanish why you think you should be the queen, and then translate in English. Okay, porque yo creo y pienso que tengo todo lo que se necesita para estar aquí y ser parte de esta ciudad y representarlo en la, en la parte internacional grande because I believe that I have what it takes and I'm talented and beautiful I could represent Guyana and show into the international countries that all of Guyana are beautiful and we can make a difference in the international pageant. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and of course we've got one other person to get to up in their business about issues and so on. And this of course is Saromani Chumunlal and she is chewing on some fish and greens and what else? Fish? No, no problem. Sure, sure, sure. But not a pepper. You got a game of fish. I love me some fish. Now, Sir Romani, you're the reigning Miss Essequibu. And I mistook someone for you just now. Now, they say, if you're pretty, you ain't smart. What have you got to say? I've got to say, well, whoever said that, well, they aren't smart. Why? Why? Because I think, um, each nine of us that are here today, we went through an interview and if we weren't smart, we wouldn't have been here. That should be an example to every young woman around the world. Mm -hmm. Now, um, if, if there's one thing you want to say to mothers that might be thinking, not my daughter and pageant, what would you say? I would encourage them to let their daughter go. If that's, if that's their daughter's dream, then they should let her do it. Like, my parents weren't so thrilled about the idea of me coming up in a swimsuit on stage, but then she realized that it is my dream, it has been a childhood dream of mine. And I'm here. She finally allowed me to come. So I'm here. Okay. Happy. Okay. Now, um, you know, there's lots of talk of domestic violence and so on. What have you got to say about it? Well, domestic violence affects both men and women. And I don't know. I think Guyana, in Guyana, there's a major problem about domestic violence. And people should try their best not to, not to violate anyone. That's. In women, there's more cases, but I'm hearing I'm hearing a lot more about the men now. They're getting beat up by their wives or girlfriends or whatever. So, girlfriends, don't beat your husband or your boyfriend. And what? And what do the boyfriend do? Well, boyfriend, you're cruel if you do that. All right then. Thank you very much. Of course, music box you got. Uh, we would want to say extra access to the young ladies before. Stay tuned. There is so much more to be had after these messages.